In this uh, video, we'll talk about the structure of the lungs. We have seen that trachea, it divides into two branches, that is the bronchi. Right bronchus goes into the right lung and the left one goes into the left lung. And each bronchus then leads into these lungs and then from that part we are talking about the structure. We have also seen that the right bronchus is wider and it is more vertical. The left one is narrower and it is more, sorry, it is more horizontal and this is more vertical. Now they open into the lung or they enter into the lung. Each lung is a triangular structure. Upper end is pointed and the lower end is wider. The upper end is conical or triangular. The, the lower one is wide. Same is the case with the left one. The left one is smaller than the right one. So let us just put this here up till here and then we'll see what exactly happens. The area through which these bronchi enter into the lungs, this area it is V-shaped and this V-shaped area through which the bronchus enters is known as hilum. So this area is hilum. So here we can write the bronchi enter the lung through hilum. So that is the point through which this bronchus is entering. And as we can see, the right one is bigger. This is the right lung. It is bigger as compared to the left one. Now here we will also take the comparison between the two lungs. Right lung and left lung. The right one is bigger. The left is smaller. This is the difference in the size. Now let us talk about the compartments. The right lung is divided into three lobes. The upper lobe, then a median and the inferior. So this is known as the superior lobe. This one is the middle lobe. Middle lobe. And the lower one is called the inferior lobe, inferior lobe, this is superior lobe. So there are three lobes. As compared to that, the left one has two. So this is the superior lobe and the lower one is the inferior lobe. So the other difference between the right and the left lungs is the number of lobes. Here there are three lobes in case of the right and here two loops. They also differ in their weight. Right one is bigger and it is heavier. It is about 620 grams whereas the left one is smaller and it is about 560 grams approximately. <coughs> now both the lungs are surrounded by a membrane, a double layer membrane. So let us draw this membrane and because there are two layers, we need to draw it as two layers and just so that we understand this, we are drawing it little uh, far or away from each other so that we can see those two layers distinctly. So this is a double layered membrane and it is in both the lungs. Here also we can draw it only in one part or maybe the entire place. And this membrane 
is known as pleural membrane or pleura. So the outer layer Now let us name them. The inner one is known as visceral pleura or visceral, visceral pleural membrane. The outer one is known as parietal pleura and together this makes the pleura or the pleural membrane. In between there is a fluid so here between these two membranes there is a fluid which is known as pleural fluid. So this fluid which we are drawing is pleural fluid and this pleural fluid performs some functions like it acts as a lubricant. Second, it protects the lungs from the mechanical shocks. Protects the lungs from mechanical shocks. And third, this is the same fluid which is going to hold these two membranes together. That is the visceral and the parietal. So next is it holds both the membranes together. So these are the functions which are performed by this pleural fluid. Now let us see what exactly is uh, special about the left lung. In the left lung we see a depression here. This depression is known as cardiac notch. So one more difference between the left and the right lung. In the right lung there is no cardiac notch. Whereas in the left one cardiac notch is present. So when we compare the left and the right lungs as is visible from the diagram also. The right one is bigger because it is bigger, it is heavier also and it has three lobes, superior, median and the inferior. The left one is smaller and it has only two lobes, the superior and the inferior. Plus, in the left one there is a depression which is known as cardiac notch. This is the place where the heart is going to be placed. This middle part is known as the mediastinum and this entire thing is in the thoracic cavity. Plus, if we have to just draw the membranous structure that is diaphragm here, the muscular diaphragm. And now let us see a few things which are inside the lungs. In the earlier segment we said that this bronchi, the first one, the first branch is known as primary bronchus. This primary bronchus, it divides into three branches, one going into each lobe. So one is going into the superior lobe, one in the middle lobe and the third one in the inferior. Whereas in this case, it divides into two branches, one going into the superior and other going into the inferior lobe. So the first branch is known as the primary bronchus and the second after that branching is known as the secondary bronchus. After secondary bronchus it keeps dividing and the further branchings would be these would be called the tertiary bronchi. So this next one, next branching is tertiary bronchus or tertiary bronchi. Same is going to be the situation here. The number 
of primary bronchi two one going into the right lung one going into the left lung number of secondary bronchi so if we write primary bronchi they are going to be two one left one right secondary bronchi one two and three in case of right lung and one and two so two in right lung sorry three in right lung and two in left lung and if it comes to tertiary bronchi there this is primary secondary and if we write about tertiary bronchi there are 10 in right lung and 8 in left lung so this is what is the number of these bronchi so structurally each lung is pointed at the upper end it has a pretty much triangular shape base is broad in case of both the right one is bigger the left one is smaller the right one has three lobes left one has only two the branches which enter that is the primary bronchus it enters into the lungs through a triangular conical structure which is known as hilum and then the branching takes place we'll talk about the branchings later on when we come to branchial intercom but structurally we compare the right and the left lung weight wise size wise lobe wise and even the structure called cardiac notch plus the double membrane uh, pleura the inner is visceral outer is parietal and there is a fluid in between which acts as lubricant it protects from mechanical shock and it is going to hold these two membranes together when we breathe so when the lungs get inflated or deflated deflated means when the air is exhaled at that time these two membranes remain together and these are the functions performed by the pleural fluid now in the next segment we will take these branchings up to the alveoli